you will learn about storage of food grains. Once the harvesting, threshing and winnowing are done, the produce is ready for sale. However, the farmer may not find a buyer for the produce easily. Therefore, arrangements need to be made to store the crop safe till buyers are found. So where should a freshly harvested crop be stored? Care needs to be taken to find a safe place to store freshly harvested produce. Otherwise, insects and rodents may eat up the food grains, causing damage and loss to the farmer. Additionally, if the produce consists of cereals and pulses, then it is necessary to reduce the moisture as the presence of moisture can harm the grains. How can the presence of moisture harm a freshly harvested crop? Microorganisms need moisture to thrive. Freshly harvested cereals and pulses contain abundant moisture. If this level of moisture is not reduced, microorganisms such as bacteria and fungi may infest the produce. As a result, the grains might lose their capacity to germinate. How can the moisture in food grains be reduced? Moisture can be reduced from food grains by drying the food grains under the sun. Specific chemical treatments can also be used to protect food grains from moisture, rodents, insects, bacteria and fungi. Where do we store grains? Grains are stored in huge containers called silos. Silos are huge airtight cylindrical structures. Grains stored in a silo remain well out of the reach of pests and rodents. Apart from silos, grains can be stored in a granary. Granaries are large rooms built above the ground level to prevent rodents and pests from getting anywhere near the grains. Farmers with small produce use jute bags or metallic bins for storing grains. See those banana plantations? Do you think bananas are also stored in silos and granaries? Actually, vegetables and fruits are never stored in a silo or a granary. They are instead stored in a cold storage at lower temperatures. It is essential to strike the right balance for storing this kind of produce. It should be neither too cold nor too hot. Excessive heat or cold spoils fruits and vegetables. Fruits and vegetables are packed in small, easy-to-handle packages before they are put in cold storage. In addition to growing crops, farmers may also be involved in animal husbandry. Animal husbandry refers to breeding and rearing of farm animals or livestock on a large scale. Animals like cows, sheep and goats are often reared on farms. What are the other animals that come under animal husbandry? Additionally, poultry farming comes under animal husbandry. Hence, ducks and turkey are often reared for their meat and eggs. Nowadays, even fish and bees are being reared by farmers.